Hey, if you're planning on retiring before full retirement age, you better be careful and not make this mistake when you're planning for your Social Security benefits. Let me explain. Average age of a retiring baby boomer. Oh, let me get out and need that in my hair. So the average age of retiring baby boomer is about 63 years old. So that's well before they hit their full retirement age in order to get their social security benefits. So obviously they're planning on paying for the, a lot of their life prior to social security. That's awesome. And if that's your plan, I wanna warn you to be careful in how you do your planning when you're thinking about social security. So let me explain. So most of us, have no idea what our social security benefit's gonna be, except when we get that social security benefit statement from the Social Security Administration. And it's actually a great statement, right? Because it shows you how much you're gonna get at full retirement age, how much you'll get at 62, and how much you'll get if you wait until age 70. And I always like the back, because the back shows you year by year your earnings all the way back until well, your first job, and my first my first paying job was working at Chuck E. Cheese, and yeah, I dressed up as Chuck E. Cheese, <laughs> and I think my my first year's earnings were like six thousand dollars. I'm like, wow, I must have felt rich. But anyway, it has all that listed on the back. Usually, when we're planning for Social Security or doing some planning, we're going to enter that number of what we'll get at our full retirement age into whatever spreadsheet or planning calculator we are using or our advisor is using. And that can be really dangerous if you're retiring early. Because here's what happens. And I had this happen a few years ago with a client. She was gonna retire at age 60, and I'm rounding these numbers. She was gonna retire at age 60. And according to her social security benefit statement, she was gonna get roughly $3,000 a month at full retirement age. That's great, that's $36,000 a year. Not bad. But she was retired at age 60. And the problem with those statements are it assumes that you are working all the way up until full retirement age. Well, she wasn't doing that. So that assumption was wrong. And so it was assuming she'd earned what she had earned in her last year of work that the statement was issued out. She was retiring seven years earlier. So what I did was I went and did a more detailed calculation to see what her benefit would be if, at, if she quit at age 60. And the reason you have to do that, and it's, you know, I don't want to get too geeky on you, but the way they calculate your Social Security benefit statement is they look at what's called the AIME, Average Index Monthly Earnings, something like that. Anyway. They're basically trying to get a average of the highest 35 years of earnings that a worker has. And that's a lot of what they base the benefit off of. Well, in this lady's case, she was leaving at age 60, which means her, she was gonna have big fat goose eggs in terms of earnings for social security for like seven years. So when she applies for social security, they're gonna look at her earnings history and since there are goose eggs there, they're either gonna include those goose eggs in the average, or they're gonna look at the highest 35 years that she had, which I don't know about you, but 20, 30 years ago, I was earning a heck of a lot less than I'm earning now. So generally what happens is the average gets brought way down. And in her case, it was exactly that way because if she retired at age 60, she wasn't gonna get $3,000 a month, she was gonna get roughly $2,000 a month at full retirement age. So that's a difference of, what? oh, I hate doing math on video, that's $12,000 a year. So if that's at age 67 that she's gonna have, miss out on $12,000 a year, well, in 10 years, that's what, 120,000? And in 20 years, that's $240,000 that she's not gonna get because she's retiring early. 
And we're not factoring in the idea that inflation, you know, there's an inflation adjustment on Social Security. So she's going to miss out on about a quarter million dollars of Social Security benefits, potentially, because she's choosing to retire early. Do you think not having $240,000 might blow up a retirement plan? In her case, it didn't. But in your case, it could if you're basing a lot of your life. These are pretty important decisions we're trying to make here. Your life decisions on these kind of assumptions. So what do you do? Well, if you're planning, like most baby boomers, to retire before full retirement age when it comes to Social Security, what you got to do is, one, you got to have a very cohesive plan. I think that's really important. But two, you want to go to ssa.gov. I'm going to have a link to it below because, hey, the Social Security Administration actually gives you a detailed calculator so you can enter your earnings history. And let's say you're going to retire at age 60 like this lady. You can enter zeros for the years in between retirement age and full retirement age. Or you can put some income in there if you're going to work pre-retirement or do some other things. But you put in your earnings history all the way back to your Chuck E. Cheese days, in my case, and it will give you a much more accurate estimate of what your Social Security might be if you decide to retire early. So if you want to rock retirement, I'd suggest you do that so you don't get rolled over by it.